Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at the documentary film The Thirteenth Step, which exposes ongoing abuses within Alcoholics Anonymous, famous for its 12-step program designed to take people from alcoholism to sobriety. This is a 2016 award-winning film by Monica Richardson, an LA-based filmmaker and activist who, since 2011, has been in contact with AA members who have experienced sexual harassment and assaults within AA meetings. On all too many occasions, dangerous individuals are ordered to attend these meetings by courts as part of plea deals, leaving more vulnerable attendees open to possible abuse. The term 13th step is a euphemism used by members of Alcoholics Anonymous for when one member preys upon another for sexual or financial gain. The doc exposes the crimes long suppressed and silenced by AA, and in similarity to the Catholic Church and Jehovah's Witnesses, has gone largely unnoticed by the general public. Until now. Hello everyone, welcome to the Saturday afternoon Venice meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous. I thought that everyone in the rooms who had multiple years of sobriety, they were there for my best interests. Hey, congratulations. It seemed like fun to go to co-ed meetings and meet more people. What it looked like was just everybody was hitting on everybody all the time. These guys come to these meetings, for them it's like fishing out of a barrel. I mean, they're just looking for the, the easiest victim and then they, they take them. What I love about 12 Steps is, is it gives me a guide for living. I went over to his house and he put a date rape drug in my tea and then he assaulted me. I felt so unbelievably betrayed. I started to read the book and think, none of this is true. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. It was insisted that I got to believe in God or a higher power, but I didn't see a difference between the two in any way. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Have you ever heard of a disease being treated through prayer? We don't tell people with diabetes to just go to church. But there is one who has all power. That one is God. I began to see it as bad theater. People saying, I wrecked my car, and then someone else said, well, I wrecked three cars. And someone else would say, I wrecked three cars and killed five people. The seventh tradition states that we are self-supporting through our own contributions, and it's time to pass the basket. People need to be aware that, you know, what you're getting for your buck in the basket you may not want. It's a concentrated pod of dysfunction. It reminded me of being in elementary school. How about 90 days? It was very shame-based. Three months. They'd love to help you work the steps. And... You don't know how to think for yourself, so shut up and listen to somebody else. It's almost like people who are losers are telling you, we want you to be like us. Lisa, he attacked a woman who was seeking help with recovery. She was left traumatized, and police admit that they fear she's not alone. <laughs> he would always sit next to her. He would never let anybody get close to her. And exactly four months later, she was dead. If you have a court order, you can just drop it in the basket. And My husband was charged as a sex offender, and he was court ordered Alcoholics Anonymous, and he didn't drink. The judicial system is sentencing violent offenders and sex offenders to AA meetings unknown to the public and unknown to AA members right now. Taking people and ordering them to go to AA is extremely unsafe. They're knowingly putting these people into rooms where they know that there's just tons of vulnerable people. AA does not provide any warning signs, any, anything that will tell you that you are sharing the meetings with, with criminals. It's like a secret society. They're all aware of what they do, and it's okay. Every group is autonomous. We take no responsibility for those things at all, and we're not gonna speak out about it. I was quite frankly shocked. I think it, it all boils down to money. It fuels a, a system where everybody gets paid along the way. It's unbelievable that she's no longer with us. I mean, destroyed our family completely. And do take an example from this and do not allow your children to be taken to, to any rehab 
or any any AA meetings unless unless you are sure that they're safe there. The 13th Step is a stark and no-holds-barred expose of not only AA's disempowering 12-step belief system, whereby members must agree to become subservient to a higher power, but also to why this unregulated organization refuses to accept responsibility in light of ongoing abuse. The 13th Step is available now to rent or buy on Amazon and Vimeo.